Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nandan and today we are going to learn something about foes. So let's begin with the video. So in this chapter, we are going to do foes as a push or a pull. If it's a force on mass, speed, direction, shape and size and some activities in between. So let's start. Force. In a day-to-day -day life, we perform various actions such as opening or closing a door, pressing a doorbell or lifting a book. If you observe closely, these actions are various kinds of push or pull. Activity 1. Classify the telling your Classify the actions telling here as a push or a pull. First, moving a cart. Second, kicking a ball. Third, opening a drawer. Fourth, lifting a bag from the floor. Fifth, closing a door. Sixth, drawing a bucket of water from a well. You will find that each of these actions in activity 1 is either a push or a pull. Observe. Imagine some pictures of two cases. In the first case, a fruit seller is moving his hand cart by pushing it. And in the second case, a girl is moving the suitcase by pulling it. Also, there is an interaction between two objects by means of a push or a pull. The act of a push or pull caused due to the interaction of is due to interaction is called force. So we can define force as push or pull acting upon an object as a result of interaction. Thank Effects of force. Let us find out the effects of force on an object. A force can move a stationary object. A force applied on a stationary object can make it move. Pulling a suitcase on its wheels and lifting a box from ground and a few examples of how stationary objects can be made to move by applying force. A force can stop a moving object. We can stop a moving object by applying a force in the direction opposite to the movement of the object. When you catch a ball moving towards you, your hands exert in a force in the front direction and the moving ball. Let us direction in the moving ball. Let us do a simple activity. Activity 2. Take a tennis ball or any other ball and place it on a table. Now gently push the ball. What happens? The ball begins to move. Now place your hand on the ball and on the ball moving ball. What do you observe? That the ball stops. Confusion. A force can move a stationary object or stop a moving object. A body can also stop on its own due to the force of friction. For example, a ball rolling on a rough surface comes to rest after some time. A force can change the speed of a moving object. Activity 3. Push the moving ball like we did in activity 2. Is there any changes in the speed? No. The ball moves faster. Or just touch the moving ball. What happens to its speed? Now. The ball slows down. Conclusion. A force can change the speed of a moving object. The speed of an object increase or decrease depending upon the strength and the direction of the applied force. You have to increase its speed. But if you want to stop Push a moving swing harder in the direction to its motion and it increase the speed. But if you want to stop it, slow it down, you will have to pull it or push it in the direction opposite to its motion. A force can change the direction of a moving object. A force can also change the initial direction of a moving object. For example, when a batsman strikes a ball bound at him, the force applied by him applied by him through the bat changes the him changes the direction of the ball and the ball travels in a new direction. A force can change the shape and size of an object. Activity 4. A. A force can change the shape and size of an object. Observe the actions in your surroundings. First, kneading a dough. Second, stretching a spring. Third, squeezing a piece of sponge and fourth, stretching a rubber band. You can take a ball of the dough and make models of different shapes and sizes by pressing it with your hands. The rubber band becomes longer on pulling it. The application of force on an object can change its base shape and size. A force has no effects on the mass of an object. 
mass of an object is the amount of water matter present in it so mass is a constant quantity for a particular object when a force is applied on an object there is no change in the mass of that object thank you if you like my video my content and my channel so please like share to your friends and family and don't and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get all notifications of all my new videos till then be safe and be happy bye bye